The Future of Nigeria led the discussion at a forum hosted by the Africa Society on the National Summit on Africa and Howard University here in Washington on Monday. Nigeria's security and stability was a main topic. Despite months of violent attacks by the militant sect Boko Haram, Nigeria's ambassador to the United States, Adebowale Adefuye, dismisses the group as a threat and disputes reports that it is a religious or ethnic body. He says their impact is overblown and confined to only four of the country's 36 states. Let me dismiss the, 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 the mistaken impression that Boko Haram is an ethnic or religious uprising. It is neither. It cannot be religious because they attack the churches and they attack mosques. The leader of the Muslim community in Nigeria, the Sultan of Sokoto, has denounced the group that is not fighting for Islam because true Muslims do not kill others. And the Christians have been against them. And then it cannot be the ethnic because they kill all kinds of people from all various tribes indiscriminately. So Boko Haram is an attempt on the part of some, some politicians to use, uh, to use elements that are unemployed, that are poor, to cause problems for rural majority. Howard University professor of African studies, Suleiman Yang, says whatever their makeup, Nigeria's Islamist militants cannot be ignored. The Boko Haram group has to be dealt with severely the way America dealt with terrorists. But at the same time, you don't neglect their grievances. They have grievances, you have to deal with them. Now, Nigerian police and security have been the primary targets of increasing violence by Boko Haram, which launched almost daily attacks in the country's north. The group wants strict Sharia or Islamic law in northern Nigeria. Attacks attributed to the group have already killed at least 200 people just this year.